Okay, what I want to look at is changing fractions to decimals. So let's start off with a simple one. A quarter. First thing to recognise is that a fraction is really a division problem. It means 1 divided by 4. So it's exactly the same as this. And so it's simply a division problem. And we can use short division for that. So 4 divided into 1. We've put a few decimal places. As so we go 4 into 1, that won't go. So move the 1 now across to here. And read this is 10. 4 into 10. Well, it goes twice. 2 4s are 8. So 2 4s are 8. 8 from 10 leaves us 2. Put the 2 there. 4 divided into 20 goes exactly 5 times. And as it goes exactly, we stop there. So our answer is a quarter is exactly the same as, in a decimal, 0 0.25. Done. We'll look at three more. Okay, let's do this one first. Three eighths. So we use the typical bus stop method. Eighths divided into three. And we need a few more decimal places. We'll try one more just to see if we need it. So we go eight divided into three. That doesn't go. Make this 30 now. So 8 into 30, the closest is 24, which is 3 times. Right, 24 from 30 leaves us 6. Put the 6 there. I go 8 into 60. Well, 7 8s are 56. Let's pop a 7 there. Uh, 56 from 60, 4. 8 into 40 now goes exactly five times and we stop there because it's exact. So that's all that one done. So three eighths is exactly the same as zero point three seven five. Okay. Now we look at this one. Nines into two. Nine into two won't go. Make it zero. So there was nothing. Move the two across. Nines into twenty goes twice. Two nines are eighteen. Take the eighteen from twenty. Leaves us two. Nines into twenty. Oh, it's two again. Two nines are eighteen. Eighteen from twenty. Two. Well, it's going to go on forever, isn't it? We keep getting remainder two. So we write this as. 2 ninths is the same as 0 0.2 and put a dot on the top of the 2 to show it's recurring. That's that one done. Our final one. I know this is going to be quite a few decimal places so we'll put a few in. Put one more just for luck there. Sevens into three, well that doesn't go. Right, move the three across here now. Sevens into thirty. Well four sevens are twenty-eight, so put four there. So twenty-eight from thirty leaves us two. Put the two there. I go seven into twenty. Well, the closest is 14, which is twice. 14 from 20 leaves a 6. A 6 there. 7's into 60. Well, 8 7's is 56. Put the 8 there. 56 from 60 is 4. Put the 4 there. 7's into 40 now. 
well, 5 7s are 35. So put the 5 there. 35 from 40 leaves us 5. 7s into 50. Or well, 7 7s are 49. Put a 7 there. 49 from 50. Um, leaves us 1, so bring the 1 over. 7s into 10. Well, that goes once. 1 7 from 10. It leaves us 3. But I'm going to need some more zeros there. And I think you see now, if we go 7s into 30, we've got the same as we had here. We're going to get 4, which will then leave us the same remainder. So we actually do have a recurring decimal. And we show that like this. 3 sevenths equals 0 0.4. Two, eight, five, seven, one, and it recurs between here and here. That sequence will go on for infinity, and that's that done. So that's how to change fractions to decimals, and um, it's simply remembering that the numerator is divided by the denominator on the bottom. Okay, thanks for watching.